What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to GMI as well. Before we jump into this Isaiah Simmons gameplay, I just want to go ahead and show you guys some of the things that you've been asking about. Uh, pretty much with the whole thing with the power backs and, you know, Barry Sanders and things like that. And you guys are like, yo, you know, I really want to try Barry. I think Barry is good. On well, next gen, most of the cards are going to play well, uh, regardless of, you know, the type of archetype. But the power backs are still the key. Now, I just want you guys to take a look at this because pretty much like... You know, Bo Jackson is, for the most part, a golden ticket. Like, he doesn't need Sprinter. He doesn't need anything on him. He's just going to be 99, 99, all kinds of 99s with the 99. Once you power him up, though, all right? So his numbers look really, really spectacular. There's nothing really crazy going on about it. So you can definitely say he is suitable enough to be both, to be an elusive back and a power back. He's just parading around as an actual power back. But he spins very, very well, and he can move around. Not as good as Barry. Right? He's not as good as Barry, but he can definitely, you know, do a couple things and, you know, he, he gets away from people. Usually by stiff arming them or trucking them and stuff like that, but he can definitely get away from people. So, I just want to let you guys know, there are options. Bo Jackson is cheaper and he does everything. Trucks, spins, all that stuff. Now, if you run on conservative, he'll still break tackles with conservative. I actually tried that out. When you play a lot of guys that run deflator, it's probably in your best interest to run you know, on conservative for the game. So that way you're gonna fumble depending on the hit that you get. It's very, very rare though, when you run on conservative. You just can't do any jukes or anything like that. But you know, Bo Jackson will still break a lot of tackles while on conservative. So just to give you guys a point of order with that. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna jump into another weekend league game and go ahead and test out some things. Now, original, bro, is that a car? Bro, has anybody ever seen that before? Dude, let me bring that back. Bring that back, DJ. Bro, what the F is that? Is that something that EA just added in a patch? Bro, that's so... Yo, it's a whole car just right there. I, yo, dude, I was like, you know what? I'm glad I'm recording this. I'm gonna make this a video. Because I don't know if EA is trolling or did they patch that on the PS5 side. Because I've never seen that before. That made absolutely no sense, but it doesn't matter. That's not what it's about. So originally, what was supposed to happen with this vid is we were supposed to be trying out... Uh, you know, Bo Jackson with the tank and uh, also the bulldozer. And then it turned out that this guy just wanted to throw Stevie's. So it worked out in our, you know, in our interest to kind of see what's going on. But Bo Jackson is still going to be able uh, to run the ball a little bit. But just talking about the movement and stuff like that, I need you guys to understand with Isaiah Simmons, he moves around well enough. Now, some of you guys were asking me to rate, you know, his movement versus Taylor Mays. I think Taylor Mays moves slightly better but Simmons just does so much more. It, it's like weird, like he'll go he'll go, and you'll just like click off, you know, like being a click off specialist, and he'll go crazy. And Taylor Mays will more than likely run by somebody where Isaiah Simmons will just stand in front. Not saying that Isaiah Simmons is always gonna be that dude, but you see like how he moves and I'm waiting for him to like either throw it to the right or to the left. It's a reason for that. You see on next gen, you, can't, you see like how I couldn't get over there and know that he's gonna throw that ball? Because I took the step to the wrong side, I can't get back right there. Excuse me as I throw the Stevie. Oh, bro, what happened? Oh, he just, oh, whoa. Judas Pepper is, is raw like that with no abilities? Okay, I thought that he was going to cut inside, and he just never did. Cool. Yo, Calvin, good job, bro. Way, way to do it. So I had to throw a Stevie right quick. Bro, don't mind my eye patch. It's glaring. So anyway, Isaiah Simmons' movement, when you, people were talking about his change of direction, right? Yo, g -Mai, his change of direction is garbage. Yo, what's going on with that? He plays completely different. Now, it could be because he has such a big frame. Obviously, the 6'4", he's going to be able to stretch out for those picks. And then once he gets it, his acceleration, he's gone. Like, you're not going to catch him. So it doesn't really matter what happens after that. Same thing with Taylor Mays, though. For the most part, you're going to enjoy next gen simply because of that. I understand that a lot of us were very, very upset. Like I said, you guys keep telling me, like, yo, bro, the slow movement, I can't do it, I can't do it. Guess what? You got a month to decide to try it or jump on to next gen with Madden 22 and just have somebody just destroy your world. You might, like right now, a lot of this stuff, it doesn't really count. I'm labbing in weekend league and doing weird stuff because it's the end of the year, it doesn't really matter. But we know by playing the beta on next gen that this is the future of Madden, right? So it's letting me get the ideas of what I'm gonna do as far as like how we're gonna set our defense up come launch time for Madden 22. What are we gonna do? Are we going for the bigger safeties? Are we still running big nickel? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's certain things like that that we have to gauge because if we don't do it right now, it becomes very, very difficult uh, later on. Once the game is here, uh, you guys are done. So like I said, all I can do is tell you guys, like, look, bro, you might as well go through the rage now so that way it's not that crazy. 
come the time. Okay, he's going to jump up. You see that right there? And that's Calvin behind him. Just to kind of give you guys insight into that. That's Calvin. And he just jumped over. Like, he just jumped right in front of Calvin and just picked it off. He has built-in lurker. We know that from the previous gen. Like, he came out, like, when he when this card was first released, um, before they gave us gave him that Christmas one, like that special edition, he was jumping out of the stadium. EA Sports made this, yo, look, he's 6'4", and he's not playing games. Like, he doesn't hide it. Like, he's ready to go. And that's pretty much what, like, the whole emphasis on me telling you guys on next gen for the remainder of the days, that's why his 94 jumped from, like, I think I sold mine for like 40k and then they gave him the power up expansion and then it was like 235 and I was like man hell no and then I went and found the 93 to 94 overall power pass I think that that's what it was I had to find that pass dude I was not spending the 235 but I'm gonna tell you this right now though regardless of whatever you decide to do his card is absolutely worth it because he makes up a lot of ground and he's a guy that although you cannot you know make the rumble you see like the way I'm moving right there if, if DK Metcalf doesn't get in on the blitz, I have a split second to go right or left. That That's the thing with next gen. I got a split second. I got to make a decision. Like, you see the way I'm doing that? Now, look, by the time I turn around, if this guy makes a throw, he's in the area to pick it because he's 6'4". They're going to let him jump up in the air and animate. Look, look at this dude, bro. Yeah, this dude is wild. But you see the way the blocking mechanics are? You guys see the way that the D-line is trying to engage and the way my O-line is trying to do something too? But right here, he's just going to go. See, look, you see like how, look, he has tanked. It doesn't really matter what anybody does. When he starts going to the lane, Bo Jackson is a problem. I just like Bo Jackson over Derrick Henry because he's a power back that can spin. So you, it's just so much more you can do with him instead of just having to rely on that, you know, the air truck and all that stuff. You can spin, you can stiff arm, you can do all that stuff. He runs around just like a regular, like all purpose back. And that's the thing that I want you guys to understand as well. So some of you guys thought I was going to raid sell him. He almost cost me a game uh, earlier on stream and we just didn't do it. Um, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. We got to figure out ways to get it done. So right here again, you know, my opponent, he has a problem. Dude, he, he wants to throw a Stevie. Like, dude, this is the thing, right? If I try to cut back and don't just read that route the way that he's going to throw that and just like, you know, I'm going to try to cut back and get the other guy. He could have went for six with the other guy because you have to go and dig deep in which way you're going. You can't just go back and forth like it's previous gen. And those are the things that you guys are gonna have to get used to, but I would definitely go ahead and put this guy on your team, at least for the remainder. Maybe you get some coins to help you finish up, you know, one of your rookie premieres or something like that. Whatever it is, guys, but again, he's one of the all-stars. I would definitely make sure, though, that you have him at sub linebacker and run some type of nickel package, or you can run the dime 146, whatever floats your boat. But I would tell you this right now, Isaiah Simmons is a must-have or next gen hands down i want to thank you guys and girls for watching you have an unbelievable day enjoy yourself be safe until next time one love y'all